talk about volume of three dimensional shapes like we know cube cuboid cylinder cone sphere and hem hemi sphere interesting is how to remember the volume of all three dimensional shape it is the most important learning the formula is not easy Con try to understand the concept of three dimensional shape it is the very very important so first of all try to understand what is the concept of all three dimensional shape and what we have to find that concept we should have like वॉल्यूम की बात जहां तक करते तो वॉल्यूम इज वॉट लाइक द अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस और ऑब्जेक्ट ऑक्यूपाइड लाइक सी इट इज वी नो इट इज अ क्यूब वॉइड दे आर सिक्स फेसेज आर दे आर सो हियर इफ यू सी द स्पेस दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑक्यूपाई हाउ मच स्पेस ऑक्यूपाई हाउ मच वाटर वी कैन पुट इन साइड द दिस क्यूब वॉइड दैट पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड For this, we know the cuboid. There are three dimensional shape is there. We know so we know the length is L, breadth is V, and the height is H. So when we have to find the volume, we have to write all this in the product form, like length into breadth into height. So volume of cuboid is. L into B into H. We can say L B H also. Similarly, when we talk about cube, like C, we know the all sides are equal in cube. Cube. So, like L L L, all sides are equal. And when we use the three dimensional means L, we have to write three times. Means length into length into length, and that is called L cube. So, volume of cube is. L cube that means side cube. Now we talk about cylinder. We know the cylinder. We know in the cylinder there are two circular rays, like the top and the bottom. Let's see this example. This is the example of cylinder. This is the circular part. This is the circular part. So it is called R. This is also R, and it is height of cylinder. so when we talk about the volume of cylinder we know the circular part we remember when you learn the area of circle what you apply pi r square like here three dimensional shape so pi r square whatever the area of square or just we have to multiply r like pi r Square into R means R cube. So pi R square, pi R square here. But here, what we do? Not we are using the uh, R double because height is also there. That means pi R square and H. So it is volume of cylinder pi R square H. Now we talk about cone. See the cone space is there. Like this is the cone. When you go to the school, sometimes we have to like uh, uh, use this type of shape, and you can get the some huja we know huja khate le le kya sa. So this is the like shape of what cone. Then you know the birthday cap. You know that is the also example of cone. So see here the cone like it is the R, it is a H again, it is a slant. So when you talk about the volume of cone is like pi is common, r square and h. So pi r square h, but like if you take the same radius and height of cone and cylinder, cone will be one third of cylinder, like one by three, one by. Three. Practically, also we can see if you will divide in the three part of cone, it comes the one part. Three parts of sorry cylinder, it comes the one part of the cone. One part. That means one third of cylinder. So one third pi r square h. It is a volume of cone. So now again we talk about next is. Sphere. 
So if here you know the radius, 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 only radius, not here, h is there. Again, we take the three dimension is 3r as a product form. So what we do again, pi is common r cube. But as a value, what we do? One and one third. We see one and one third. If you add, what comes? Three one are three plus one is four. So four by three. So we can get yeah, four by three. This is the learning trick is there. One plus one third, and then four third comes, and then four by three pi r cube. So then, like uh, we know, like see the ball is there, the sphere. No. So how much? You know, air inside the ball, we can say, then balloon is there. So, how much air inside balloon? So, that is a volume. Okay. So, that is an example of a sphere. So, 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now, we talked about the last one is hemisphere. We know the katora. Huh? Like the katora is there. See, katora pe katora pe tabab se bhi gura. We know the like paheli. Huh? But you know, Nariel. Uh, so, like Katora, pe Katora. E Katora, what is Katora? Is example of hemisphere. So, in the hemisphere again, R radius is there, radius is there, radius is there. All we know this is the half of what? Like sphere. So, when you cut also the two parts, the, each part is called hemisphere. So the volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So when you 4 by 3 divide by 2, 4 by 3 into 1 by 2. So what comes 2 by 3 means 4 third. Then we have to divide by 2 in this 2 part it comes 2 by 3. That means the volume of a sphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So 2 by 3 pi r cube. So it is the volume of hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r cube. So now whenever any confusion, confusion to learn the formula of all three dimensional shapes, it's a very easy technique. First, आप हमेशा यह समझें कि हमको जब कभी भी volume find करना है, always you have to write in the product form and three dimension always we have to count the three dimensions are there like see here l three times here l into b into x again three here r square into l again we can say three fill up the like pi r square twice and h again three similarly here r to the power 3 and also here r to the power 3 so see what we observe we always whenever we have to find the volume it comes as a product form and power is 3 even you talk about the all dimensions together and then another very interesting like to learn the formula of cylinder cone and sphere a very interesting see here in the dictionary you observe first word comes in the dictionary amongst cylinder, cone, and sphere. Is what? Chapi kya dekha hoga? Pahle dekha hoga. What comes? Cone comes. So cone, see the one third pi r square is. It is smaller than cylinder because pi r square is there one third. So that means cone first comes in the uh, dictionary. So one by three pi r square h. And next, what cylinder comes? So, pi r square h, it is the bigger than cool as a volume. And third is sphere comes last. If you talk about the cylinder, cool and sphere. So, sphere sub se last me aata hai. That means here 4 by 3 pi r cube. Also, very interesting. 1 plus 1, 3. Third is equal to 4 by 3. So, in based on that, we can learn also formula when we are forgetting. So remember, oh, cone first, so smaller, then cylinder, then pi r square, oh, then sphere, so 4 by 3 pi r cube. So when we you know the this formula and based on that, what we can do? We can find any question. As for example, I am giving like, suppose cube is there and in the cube, side is there, suppose side is there. That means L is there, 5. 
and when we have to find five is what five centimeter and then we have to find what that means volume is l cube so l cube to five into five into five and centimeter 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 so it is the three times that means centimeter cube that's why we know the unit of volume is cubic unit means here centimeter so cubic centimeter a meter then cubic meter so why because we, we we take three times centimeter 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 cube so finally what is the answer 125 centimeter sometimes like we know the volume is given only like volume is given 216 centimeter cube and we have to find psi what you we do volume is equal to L cube means side cube. So volume what is given 216 centimeter cube and then L cube. And we know the 216 is cube of 6. That means 6 centimeter cube is equal to L cube. We know here power is same cube cube. So L is equal to 6 centimeter. So length of cube is 6 centimeter similarly whenever we have to find the volume of cube wide what is given length breadth and height is given so we have to apply the formula of volume and then we can find the volume of cube wide and then again similarly we can find the volume of cylinder cone sphere and hemisphere and as well as whenever radius height is given we can find the volume sometimes volume and radius is given suppose here pi r square h is the volume of cylinder so sometimes you know the volume is given and the radius is given then based on that we can find the edge also sometimes you know volume is given and radius is given then we can find it but just like this if volume is given and then height is given then also we can find the r what is the value of r so whatever value is given in the question based on that we can use this uh, formula and you can solve no need to learn the different formula of the height different formula of the radius just substitute the value and then we can find the volume radius or height so if you apply this technique so no need to learn all this formula try to understand the concept based on concept we may learn the formula and then we can solve any question whatever is given based on these three dimensional six questions so i hope you understand you like and all the best for your future thank you very much